In the Quran, Allah has been shown to have used deception against those that do and do not believe in him. Take, for instance, the position that Jesus did not die on the cross, but Allah used an illusion to make it look this way. Surah 4, verse 157 to 158, translated Pictal. And because of their saying, we slew the Messiah, Jesus son of Mary, Allah's messenger, they slew him not, nor crucified him, but it appeared so unto them. And lo, those who disagree concerning it are in doubt thereof. They have no knowledge thereof, save pursuit of a conjecture. They slew him not for certain, but Allah took him unto himself. Allah was ever mighty, wise. The Bible makes it explicitly clear that Jesus died on the cross, as seen in the New Testament in all four Gospels. This is one of the largest contradictions that is provided, considering that salvation comes from the blood of Christ, and that Jesus repeatedly talked about his death being essential. The doctrine of the crucifixion illusion has its earliest origins in Gnosticism, which is found in the Neg Hammadi Library and was written against by Arrhenius in his first book of Against Heresies. Remember that the Quran says that both the Torah and the Gospels are perfect, which means we're off to a really bad start. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 33 For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Hebrews 6 verse 18 That by two immutable things, in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us.